Hi everyone, my name is Jimmy. I'm here to talk about today my SmartLav Plus and its compatibility issues with some of the pieces of gear that I've collected over the years. Sorry about this messy presentation. But uh, I have here the Canon Vixia HF uh, G20. It's something that I've used for making videos. I find it's more um, automatic for my needs that I need for YouTube videos. I don't use these for video too much unless I'm on vacation in which case I don't really use sound with that too much. This one I, I need sound and relying on these little speaker microphones here are not very good for me. Um, so what I did was I invested in this type of microphone here, uh, the video mic that they sell. It comes with a battery that you put in, a 9 volt battery. You kind of sit it on top of here and it's very directional. It works fine, but um, I kind of didn't like it. It's probably because I don't know how to use it all that well. Um, so I'm still finicking around with this. I wanted a sound that had more bass in it, and the way to do that is get a, a lavalier microphone. The problem is, with my lavalier microphones, you need a transmitter and God knows what else. I'm not really sure. I'm not a sound guy. But I wanted something that was really simple and that worked. So I heard about the SmartLav Plus by Rode Microphones, and the idea is that you plug this straight into your cell phone and you record it using an app, your voice, and then you take that sound bite and you sync it up with your video later. Um, so it works really well, I have noticed. Uh, the problem was I got tired of relying on using my cell phone all the time and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I can just plug this straight into uh, my camcorder? I tried it and it doesn't work. And the reason why is because this is called a TRRS connection. If you see here, there are three little black stripes and this one does not take that. This is a camcorder. This is not a cell phone. Cell phones take this kind of connection. If you look at your earbuds that came with your cell phone, it'll look similar to this. Uh, this type of connection will require this type of thing. You see two stripes. This is what you're commonly going to see that connects to here, connects to your cameras for sound. That does not work here, so I thought that was the problem. So what I did was I looked at videos and how to connect the SmartLav Plus to your camcorder. Because I don't want to just buy this for one application. If I can use this for my, for my cell phone and use it for my camcorder, wouldn't that be ideal? Yeah, absolutely. So I bought this. This is the SC3 by Rode Microphones. And this is what comes inside. This thing was $15. Crazy expensive. As a matter of fact, while I'm still talking about it, the SmartLav Plus was also very expensive. I, I think I paid a lot for it. It's pretty flimsy, and uh, honestly, the while well, the quality might be okay, in my opinion, the distance they give you is not very long. So you will need an extension for this. Um, none of that's included, obviously, and it's part of the price when you buy something like this. So uh, here's where I'm going to get into it. I bought the SmartLav Plus a while back. This works great with my cell phone, even with an extension. I bought this adapter for 15 bucks. You plug this into here, that takes the TRRS configuration and converts it to the two-stripe configuration, something that the camcorders and cameras can understand for sound, right? So that's the idea. I plug this in, like all the other YouTube videos show you how to do, and still no sound. Very frustrating after waiting to get this thing and paying 15 bucks for it, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, I found out camcorders and cameras uh, for this to work needs to provide output power. And this camcorder, as nice as I think it is, does not provide output power. Surprise, surprise. And many cameras and stuff do not uh, talk about this when you buy it. I had no idea even what it was, but I, I was aware that when you plug in something, let's say into an amplifier or into a cell phone, for example, for this to work, it needs to be provided power from your cell phone, right? So that makes sense. I just didn't think that something like this would not have output power. So that's why even with the right connection and the right adapter here, it does not work. Sound does not work on this thing. So that kind of sucks. How can I get sound then? Well, I'll just keep having to use this if I want better sound, perhaps mount it off camera and closer to me by using an extension, which I'll get into later. Now, do I have to return this? Do I have any use for this whatsoever? Yeah, I guess there is a use. I don't really use these for sound at all uh, when recording video. I just kind of make eye candy. It's what I do. I want to provide sound with it. I'll just go ahead and use this adapter. 
So I can use my smart lab plus and I plug it into here, which converts the signal to a TRS. And then I'll need a 2.1 micro jack to go into here. This looks like this fits into here, as you can see, but it does not fit. The one in the camera, the jack is smaller. So you need to make this and reduce the size. And you use something like this. As you can see, the two stripes are still the same, but the jack is smaller, the, the input here. So you plug this into here, and this goes into your camera. I've tried this, and the microphone works. The SmartLav Plus, which is originally designed for your cell phone, thanks to this adapter here, and thanks to the output power, now the SmartLav Plus works. And it sounds really bassy and nice, which you can edit the sound later if you wanted to. The point is, you don't have to... Uh, take the sound out of your cell phone later and layer it, it'll be uh, recorded concurrently as you shoot the footage rather than relying on the sound through your camera, right? Because the sound in the cameras, even in this one, is not very good, which is why having a microphone, whether it's a Smart Lab Plus or using this with the reducer, you can do it like this, that'll work fine too um, because this provides output power. What about the XE2? It's a little older of a camera, right? Well, I've tested this. This also works with uh, this, which has its own power. That's not an issue, but it also works with a Smart Lab Plus, which requires output power. This one uh, provides output power as well. So cell phones provide it. These cameras provi provide it. Check if your camera or camcorder has it or not. If not, you might need a workaround and just deal with it like me. This one does not have it, which kind of sucks. Um, what else can I say about this? I will need an extension. I want to say one thing about this. This here is a six foot extension cable. As you can see, um, it's just uh, a female to a male and it's six feet long. It goes from there to this. But you'll see here that um, this is a TRRS. So I can plug this straight into a cell phone and it will work just fine. Okay, the Smart Lab Plus into this because my cell phone responds to the three stripes here. But I've noticed I can plug in this type of connection, this microphone, which is a TRS, two stripes, use this extension cable, which is a TRRS, into um, a camcorder, and it will still work fine. Um, what I'm saying is, you see this is, does not have two stripes, it has three stripes, because the originating sound is coming from two stripes, having three stripes as an extension won't matter. This works, okay? Uh, the problem comes from using the Smart Lab Plus. Man, what a mess here. Smart Lab Plus, which has originally three stripes, um, without the converter, it will not work if you go straight into, let's say, uh, one of these cameras here. Um, you need to convert that first, and then it goes here. If it's already originally two stripes, then having the, the extension three stripes won't matter. This will work just fine. And I figure why not get an extension that works for your cell phone and for these. Um, so you don't have to buy two kinds of extension cords, I guess. It works so well that I bought another pack of extension cords. This is 25 feet long, so I can use this off camera closer to me if I want to do some long distance shots in the future or I can use the extension cord for a lavalier and these cameras as I demonstrated earlier with a bunch of connections. I hope this makes sense. Um, the reason why I'm saying this is because the output power is something we all need to look into before trusting these YouTube videos that are out there. And hopefully you can avoid the mistakes that I've made. If you have any other workarounds that are cheap and good quality, please leave comments below and give me a thumbs up for the effort. I really appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.